I'm not going to say any more about him because I'm going to let him come up here and tell you himself. Y'all no, didn't come to listen to me. <laughs> I have a, a this one, Coach 215, had I like a little girl. And an American Legion challenge for him. But the uh, maybe I'm on the back. It's a huge honor. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Well, good morning, everyone. How are we doing? I want to thank everyone for coming out here to enjoy or to remember and this uh, freedom that we have because of others that have gone before us. It is an honor to be here today to speak with you on Memorial Day. It is great to see fellow veterans, citizens, uh, the Boy Scouts, and the Marine Corps ROTC. Thank you to the adults for paying it forward and teaching them love of country and teaching them about service and sacrifice. As a reminder, Memorial Day honors those who have died in service, while Veterans Day in November honors all military veterans, living and dead. I lived with my grandfather for a while growing up. He's a Navy veteran who fought World War II. He and my dad, and also an Army veteran, taught me about love of country, service, sacrifice, and courage. They also taught me freedom isn't free, and the importance of remembering those who gave their all for us. You know, some people risk their time and some people risk their money, but our men and women in service oftentimes risk their life or give their life for us. Fellow veterans come from a place where it's not about me, it's about us. We never leave a man or a woman behind, and it's paramount we work as a team to get the mission accomplished. My name is John McGuire, and I had the honor of serving our country 10 years as a Navy SEAL. Today I live in Goochland County with my amazing wife Tracy and I have the honor of continuing service to our country as an elected official in the General Assembly. I am proud one of our five children is now serving in the U.S. Navy. Perhaps I should warn you, I'm much better with a rifle than giving a speech. Like all of you though, I love our country and like many of you, I've been to too many funerals since 9-11. For those that don't know, in 1971, Congress standardized the holiday Memorial Day to be observed the last day of Monday. All around America's counties, cities, and towns, flags are being placed on graves and cemeteries and in memorials. Public officials speak of the sacrifice and the valor of those whose memory we honor, and there are flag displays and parades. Many of us enjoyed our freedom this weekend with barbecues and family. But most importantly, today is a day we take pause and remember our fallen who gave their life for our freedom. We must never forget. Our military represents some of the best qualities America has to offer. There are those who understand some things are more important than fear and they go forward anyway. This is called courage. John 15, 13, it says, greater love hath no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. The willingness of some to give their lives so that others might live never fails to evoke a sense of deep respect. One story that comes to mind is Medal of Honor recipient and fellow Navy SEAL Petty Officer Michael Monsoor. On September 29, 2006, Monsoor's platoon engaged four insurgents in a firefight in Ramadi, Iraq, killing one and injuring another. Anticipating further attacks, Mansour, three SEAL snipers, and three Iraqi army soldiers took up a rooftop position. Civilians aiding the insurgents blocked off the streets and a nearby mosque had broadcast a message for people to fight against the Americans and the Iraqi soldiers. Mansour was protecting other SEALs, two of whom were just 15 feet away from him and the Iraqi army soldiers. Mansour's position made him the only seal on the rooftop with quick access to a quick escape route. A grenade was thrown up onto the rooftop by an insurgent on the street below. The grenade hit Mansoor in the chest and fell onto the floor. Immediately, Mansoor yelled grenade and jumped onto the grenade, covering it with his body. The grenade exploded seconds later and Mansoor's body absorbed most of the force of the blast. Mansoor was severely wounded, and although evacuated immediately, he died 30 minutes later. Two other SEALs next to him at the time were injured by the explosion, but survived. Mansoor could have escaped and let the others die. 
Apparently, an Iraqi soldier wondered with a comment, why would he give his life for us? Mansour was described as a quiet professional and a fun-loving guy by those who knew him. He is buried at Fort Rosecrans National Cemetery in San Diego. During the funeral, as the coffin was moving from the hearse to the gravesite, Navy SEALs were lined up, forming a column of two twos on both sides of the pallbearer's route. With the coffin moving up the center, as the coffin passed each SEAL, they slapped down the gold trident each had removed from his own uniform and deeply embedded it into the wooden coffin. The display moved many attending the funeral, including President Bush, who spoke about the incident later during a speech stating, the procession went on nearly half an hour. And when it was all over, the simple wooden coffin had become a gold-plated memorial to a hero who will never be forgotten. The United States has fought 12 major wars and numerous smaller conflicts. Memorial Day is how we honor the soldiers, sailors, airmen, and Marines who did not return home. More than 1.1 million military personnel in all conflicts from the Revolutionary War to the War in Terror have died protecting freedom. Half of them died in our Civil War. Words alone cannot repay the debt we owe these men and women who gave their all for us. What can we do? We can live a life worthy of their sacrifice. You know, earlier we heard the national anthem. I don't know of any other national anthem that ends with a question and a challenge other than ours. Does that flag still wave over the land of the free and the home of the brave? We must always ask that question so we don't forget. The day we no longer have men and women willing to sacrifice for our freedom, we will no longer have a country. That is how important their service is. The United States has provided more freedom and has provided and guaranteed the dignity of the individual to more people than any other place on earth. We really are the home of the free because of the brave. The price for our freedom at times has been high, but we have never been unwilling to pay that price. Someone who inspired, inspired me to join the United States military was President Ronald Reagan. President Reagan said in a speech, above all, we must realize that no arsenal or no weapon in the arsenals of the world is so formidable as the will and moral courage of free men and women. It is a weapon our adversary in today's world do not have. It is a weapon that we as Americans do have. Let that be understood by those who practice terrorism and prey on their, on their neighbors. When talking about Arlington Cemetery, President Reagan said, each one of those markers is a monument to the kind of hero I spoke of earlier. Their lives ended in places like Bella Wood, the Argonne, Omaha Beach, Salerno, halfway around the world at Guadalcanal, Tarawa, Porkchop Hill, the Chosen Reservoir, and in a hundred rice paddies and jungles in a place called Vietnam. Under one, such, under, under one such marker lies a young man, Martin Trepto, who left his job in a small time barber shop in 1917 to go to France with the famed Rainbow Division. There on the Western Front, he was killed trying to carry a message between battalions under heavy artillery fire. We are told that on his body was found a diary. On the flyleaf, under the head, My Pledge, he had written these words, America must win this war. Therefore, I will work. I will save. I will sacrifice. I will endure. I will fight cheerfully and do my utmost as if the issue of the whole struggle depended on me alone. This attitude and love of country is a lesson for all of us. As we pay our respects and remember, I ask each of you to never forget our fallen life, live a life worthy of their sacrifice and ensure our country has a bright future by giving all you've got as if the whole struggle depended on you alone. God bless you and God bless the United States of America. Thank you.